Welcome to the second episode of the Lands of Conquest. So, I said that this episode will be a bit more progressive, and it was. So what do I mean by it was? Well, I already recorded like almost the entire episode, and then I realized this. So I guess this video will be a bit of a storytelling one. So first of all I did some mining off camera because I decided that this series is more about medieval building style and not so much about Minecraft gameplay. So I did some mining and got ourselves a ton of resources and some diamonds. I also found a mineshaft where I really hoped I would find a saddle but unfortunately I haven't found one. The mineshaft was just way too small. So I decided to try another strategy to go out and explore the world. But before I went exploring I added some details to our house. I finally after one hour in creative world found out how to craft chairs and tables. You actually just need a few sticks and some slabs. With that you can craft a stole and a table. And then with the stone cutter you can make whichever chair or table you like. Time to explore, so I went that way. Not long after that I found a savanna village that had nothing. Right next to it there is a jungle and I got very lucky I saw a temple that again didn't have a single thing. Not long after that I found another village, but dude, this one was sick. They almost build better houses than I do. Just take a look at this meat. And library. And feasting house. They even had a stable, but unfortunately no saddle, so I had to keep exploring. I came across a desert. Look at these cactuses and I found some weird terrain. I don't know, why is that supposed to be? I also tamed a wolf and then another one, so let's go! We now officially have Dogos! And 
not long after that I found another village. This time it was a desert village. Bro, it looked amazing. They even had their own little market. But that's not all, they also had a smith and there I finally found what I was looking for, a cell. Mission accomplished, now let's head home. On my way home I came across some horses, I took the fastest one that was still very very slow, but it was able to jump 3 blocks and a half. Then I crafted some wheels and with that I was able to craft, yes, the plow. Now we're able to plow with horses, so you basically just shift and right click and put on some hose and you're good to go. So I thought of having crops fields across the river but we don't really have a way to get across. That is why I decided to build a bridge. But let me make this clear, I've never built a bridge in Minecraft. I honestly don't remember I have. So that's going to be my first bridge and it also needs to be diagonal. So after some planning was done, I went to work. For the bridge I used light limestone. After way too much time, I got the bridge done. For the finishing touches I added some plants. I think this alpine bush or whatever it is came out amazing. 
as did the bridge itself. I am really proud of myself, it's the first bridge I've ever built and it's not only good looking, it also does the job. Also, we need a cow farm, but I didn't know how to include it into our farmhouse, so I made a small hole in the ground that will serve for a temporary cow farm. Now let's plow some fields. You just right click to lower the hose and we're good to go. Oh my god, look at that, that is so fast. We're plowing three blocks wide and it goes very fast. The only problem is that the hose's durability also goes very fast. Unfortunately. I see that as many seats as I had, but we still need a lot more. We also got a puppy! Next thing, I thought to build a cave, just in our backyard. So, a cave for storage, cause we'll need a lot of that. And of course, we need to build a new stable for our horse. Okay, so now that the story has ended, let me give you a quick walkthrough. So, let's begin in here. I've also added some beers, because I just found out how to craft We also have dogs and we have one name tag. So make sure to comment some suggestions for dog names. We have three dogs right here, so we need three good names. So let's begin with the walkthrough. First, as you can see, I've added a bit of a like cave in the backyard, so this cave is basically for storage and nothing else. So I've added some curtains, so they kind of cover up the interior. So we have kind of small cartography table, 
and the candle so you can see well in the night to the left we have a bunch of food like some hanging carrots bananas onions some herbs and some meat i've also added red i don't even remember how i craft them there they are and so this is in the middle there is this big supporting pillar so the cave doesn't fall together so we have a whole bunch of storage because we just need a lot of that and then for the decorations we have some potatoes some barrels a bit more a bit more storage some apples potatoes again apples some crates and stuff like that then on the right side we have kind of a, a smaller place place for some wine or juice whatever they have in here like a bit more ba barrels this side is just kind of more decorational some crates some floor beetroots i suppose apples more apples some lettuce and stuff like that now you can't really see it well right but we have a secret passage now the idea is to have like a whole bunch of secret passages that are all connected now the doors will only be able to be opened from the inside but this one is a, an exception because it's also used for like a gateway you can just kind of go in here run down you have some extra wine if you're stressed whatever and then you come up here into this small stable that i've made for the horses so yeah this whole village and the castle will be full of these secret passageways which i think if nothing else are really fun to explore also i've added some water lemons watermelons and of course we've built a bridge you have may notice that i've swapped the horses because this one is just much faster like this one jumps much higher like three blocks and a half this one barely jumps too but it's much faster and we need fast horses so while i'm walking to the bridge on the screen you can see kind of a sneak peek plan that i have for this village and castle it's not gonna be exactly that way that's a pretty rough plan so yeah but at the end when it when everything is built it should look something like that so but the only problem with these bridges now the ships like big ships won't be able to cross also i've added some blazers so it yeah so it's not dark and also i've yeah i made some big fields these fields will be covering like this whole entire place in future at some point one problem with this is that i only have 12 15 chunks rendering distance so if i'm at the house this wheat won't actually grow because i'm too far for these chunks to render and i have to be right here so it's growing so yeah that's not ideal but we'll figure something out so that's mostly everything that i've built now let's go sleep because otherwise i'm about to die and i don't want to die because i have 39 levels now there is one more thing that i want to do so this smoke is just it's not how i want it to be i think that the hay bale no oh, no it's not the right way a hay bale and the campfire trick will work much better it goes high enough we don't need more I think it looks much better. Yeah, that that's way better. And this smoke actually has the color of smoke. So yeah, that house is mostly finished. I have to add some kind of like... I don't know. No idea. Some kind of plants. It's just a bit... It's just a bit empty. Here. Just so it's not as empty as it is. I think that's not that bad. Okay, so that's all for this video. We've done quite a lot. We've built a cave for storage, a secret passage, 
smooth stable make sure to hit that subscribe button so we see each other in the next episode of the lands of conquest